Hey family, welcome back to Lightworks Intuitive Healing. I hope that you guys are having a blessed and positive day. This is going to be a general reading. And what I want to do is just get a positive thought of the day. I'm going to start incorporating that. And we will go from there. Our message will be based on the positive thought that we check into today. So let's go ahead and take a couple of deep breaths. In through your nose, out through your mouth. High God, divine ancestors, divine beings of the highest white light, archangels, spirit guides, and guardian angels, we thank you for being here with us. I ask you to please come in and allow me to channel the current energies for the collective to reveal what we need to know at this time. Let there be none of me and all of you. Archangel Michael, please close the door on anything that is not of the highest white light. Please encamp the angels of protection around myself and the collective at this time. Please and thank you. All right, guys, so let's see here. Okay, we have self compassion first. Compassion is the most generous gift you can give yourself. Show yourself the same mercy, sympathy, and kindness that you bestow upon others. It's difficult to show compassion toward others if you don't show it to yourself first. Start with you and then allow it to spread outward. It will, I promise. Okay, so our message today is about self-compassion self-preservation okay extending the same courtesies to yourself that we extend to everyone else and that's been a theme for the last couple of days we have love here on the bottom of the deck so self-love is also significant to this reading okay holy spirit holy angels what should we be aware of concerning our self-compassion, self-love, and self-preservation? Okay, we have cleanse, okay? So cleansing out your energy primarily and your surroundings as well. Um, making sure that the people in your life have your best interests, okay? What is the message, Holy Spirit? Illumination. Okay, death. Okay, space, cleanse, and protection. Okay, so we have death, illumination, space, cleanse, and protection. Okay, with space falling center, I feel like you are needing to really be more aware of the people you are allowing into your space, the people that are around you, okay? Um, cleanse and space. I feel like it's time to really evaluate um, those people that you are keeping around you, allowing the light to shine on these people, places, things that no longer serve you. With the death card coming here, uh, I feel like there are going to be some relationships that are no longer in alignment with the direction that you're going in with your transformation i think the most high is shining a light on 
you right now, your current space, your current state of mind, um, and anything that is not in alignment is being cleansed out and you're being guided to cleanse and protect your energy. And I feel like the divine is protecting you from a lot of these low vibrational energies that are around you. Okay, with rest and disruption here at the bottom, I feel like your angels and spirit guides are putting an end to these low vibrational energies that are trying to come in and contaminate your space is what I just heard. What else, Holy Spirit? I'm hearing there's two more here. What else, Holy Spirit? Creativity and faith, okay? I feel like you're focused on building whatever these creative projects that you are working on. Your focus is there. You're not really paying a lot of attention to these people, but I feel like you are being called to pay a little bit more attention. You're in this place of faith, which is actually very positive. It's a good thing. But what they're saying is while you're focused on your projects and your ventures and you're grounded in your faith, um, there is still a need to clean house, I'm hearing. So just evaluate the people that are around you and you're going to be getting some downloads on who these people are. Yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit, messages and what their true intentions are. Four, 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 you are protected. We got protection out here twice, so someone needs to know that. Archangel Metatron is here. I feel like your ancestors are trying to connect with you in regards to this creative project that you are working on. What is the message for the spirit? Walking on sunshine. This is your energy. Uh, as I said, you're not, you're in a very good and positive place in this creative flow. Okay. You are working on your creative projects, which are going to bring in a lot of abundance for you. But your guides are saying you have to be more aware of your surroundings as well at this time. Let's see what's going on here, Holy Spirit. What's going on? Yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. So, yeah, boundaries. They're really wanting you to set boundaries stronger boundaries and be aware because there's someone that wants to disturb your energy at this time stand in your power so there's something that's going to take uh, action okay um, not just avoiding and ignoring there's someone that you're going to have to I know that you still love me in reverse okay so this could be someone that you were romantically involved with that is trying to get your attention trying to disrupt your peace because they feel like you still love them and they want to potentially come back okay with awakening in the reverse this person is not awake they are operating out of a low vibration and trying to connect with you on that lower vibrational energy okay make room for the new okay they're wanting you to make room for them in your space now that's why we had space coming out and this is in the reverse okay 
the bottom of the deck you dodged a bullet with this person okay but your guides are saying you are going to have to speak something out to this person this person wants to bring obstacles they're in the reverse so they won't be able to affect you but you're being called to speak out okay this person is weighed down with the fact that you have moved on what else holy spirit okay we have warrior spirit in the reverse okay so this person is like i'm seeing somebody that's very argumentative uh wanting to just engage with you on any level they're trying to shake things up in your life okay and this person is programmed this person is very 3d very matrix uh type mentality um they don't quite understand your path and they don't care to they just want you to be where you used to be okay they want you to be in that same toxic low vibrational energy that you previously were okay um your spirit guides are saying and seen that's a wrap okay they're saying this is over however again you look at this this is you you've transformed and evolved you're evolving you're moving on from this there you're going to have to say something or do something okay pause is here so just take a minute to address this situation let this person know you're not interested that you're moving on you wish them well uh, send them positive energy and shut the door on this okay this person could be trying to access you through your dreams it's in reverse so they are not going to be able to connect with you that way uh, <laughs> This is your spirit guide saying this person is going to feed you a lot of lies there. This person is a liar. So they're, yeah, fake friend. This person is not genuine. And there could be additional people in your energy that are fake friends. So this is all about setting stronger boundaries, making sure you're cleansing your energy. And your spirit guide said it's time for a vacation. So... You may need to uh, go somewhere new, spend some time somewhere else, okay? Um, if you can't leave, this is the mentality they want you to be in, you know, create that vacation space in your mind, okay? And cut, yeah, I just saw cut cords, they'll bring it back around. They really want you to disconnect and detach from these low vibrational energies. Yeah, ancestors are putting the beat down on them. Okay, so <laughs> your ancestors are blocking these people out. But it feels like this person is uh, this energy here that knows you still love them. They're not going to give up easily. I'm seeing the knight of pentacles as i see this card this is somebody that's going to continuously try until they get what they want yeah thank you holy spirit they're going to keep going they're going to keep trying to connect with you this person is not in a calm state of mind this person is a bit well with remain calm in the reverse this person is aggressive um abrasive and they they have that emperor in the reverse type of energy they feel like you belong to them slowly but surely it's in the reverse so this person is very impulsive knight of swords in the reverse energy very abrasive um impulsive just wants to come towards you okay bright future ahead is in the reverse so this person is is headed for destruction and there's something that you need to do or say to this person okay we got we had the ultimate betrayal okay this person could have betrayed you in some way 
and we got God called justice and judgment on this person. So this person is being handled by your spirit guides and the most high. But yeah, there's something with message here. There's something that you need to say to this person and it's gonna be different for everybody. This person is still trying to sabotage you. It's in the reverse. Everything is being blocked. But when you say something, there is something that's going to happen to trigger something in this person. Yeah, this person is trying to drag you to hell with them. It's in the reverse. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Okay, they're telling me to switch decks. Okay, this flipped over. We have coming soon. Okay, so this person could be coming towards you very soon. Or something is coming in very soon. Let's take that out, they're saying. I feel I'm seeing this person get other people involved. This person is trying to plot by using other people that are connected to the both of you in some way because this person knows that you're not going to give them the time of day. This person with power in the reverse. This is like the emperor energy in reverse. Somebody that has this authoritative mentality but they haven't earned it that's the kind of energy I'm picking up somebody that's very narcissistic yeah we have karma here okay this person is yeah we saw the justice yeah they're watching you and they're mad so this is just really you just really have to set strong boundaries. Welcome home in the reverse, okay? This person is definitely not welcome in your space, so be sure that this person is not, has no access to your space, your home. Disconnect, disengage. I just saw spiritual assassin in the reverse. Yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. So this person is bound to the devil and working uh, with low vibrational deities. You are highly protected. Holy Spirit, what else should the collective be aware of? Become okay, we have become. Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. You are becoming the person that you are intended to be, that the Most High wants you to be. You are stepping into your purpose, you are really well on your way. You have been going with the flow of the universe, and you are about to receive. With reciprocity, you are about to receive that equal give and take that you deserve, that you have provided for others, okay? You're well on your way. You're doing a great job with staying focused, having faith, okay? Um, this is just one of those tests that you're going to be, this person is saying, uh, every time I see you, every I see your face every time I close my eyes, so this person is constantly reminded of you who you were to them we have reptilians on the bottom of the deck so this person could very well be a reptilian we are halo vibes this is you you are an earth angel energy what else holy spirit yeah Red flags, stop. This person 
it's very important that you nip this in the bud I'm hearing okay um, if you're resonating with this message and you are aware of who this person is in your life you just really have to set those strong boundaries sooner than later okay and this message is also for anyone this red flags with them they're wanting you to pay more attention and to the red flags of people new people coming into your life or those people that are already in your life that the energy is not aligned with your energy in the direction that you're going okay so it's again it's time to clean house because there are a lot of people that are trying to uh, bring conflict into your life because they see you elevating and the devil is <laughs> mad because you're staying the course you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing okay any final messages from this deck holy spirit Yeah, this, this person could be talking about you with other people. I feel like this person talks about you a lot and thinks about you a lot. Someone here is contemplating reconnecting with this energy and you're being advised to really, really evaluate the situation in this person and, and pay attention to the red flags, okay? Your spirit guides are saying it's too late for this person. Um, there's someone here that has a lot of compassion with Teach Me coming out. You want to help this person. Uh, yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. You see the good in all things. So you really are having a hard time just letting this person go or just leaving this person in the darkness. Okay. Um, God is giving you a lot of new opportunities and this person cannot go with you. Okay with light codes in the reverse this person is not somebody that is connected okay look evil this person is evil and they are going to again try to take you down with them so your guides the sirens red flags and caution okay um this person is dangerous okay you're being called to trust in the divine and keep moving in that direction and just Stand in your power. Let this person know that you're not uh, you're not interested. You're not going to connect with them any longer. If you have been, yeah, unhealed souls. Yeah. So, anything else from this one? Yeah, let it go. Your guys are wanting you to let this go and. This person uh, is not willing to escape the matrix. It says escaping the matrix. It's in the reverse, okay? This person is very 3D, as I said before. They don't understand the concept of spirituality. Um, and it's not your responsibility to make that happen, okay? Illumination is here again. We saw this card earlier. This person is going to be exposed to spirituality and through the power of God, through you uh, living in your purpose, okay? This person is going to be able to see from afar the power of God through you. But you, uh, thank you, Holy Spirit, you are being advised to walk away from this person, okay? What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, use your intuition tuition in every situation especially concerning these people okay let's see hold on one second all right y'all i'm back all right let's get some tarot and see what comes up here holy spirit holy angels thank you for the messages what should we be aware of concerning the person in the collective's energy at this time? What should we be aware of, Holy Spirit? Yeah, High Priestess, you're definitely being advised to continue using your intuition, which we just saw on another card. Page of Swords, this person is watching you very closely. 
okay and that your spirit guides are saying that is a good thing since this person is very matrix minded um, they're going to see how God truly works through you continuously moving forward and staying true to the divine and your divine purpose Holy Spirit what should we be aware of what does the collective need to know concerning this situation? Okay. <laughs> we have the star and the six of wands. So you are definitely stepping into your success. We saw reciprocity and new opportunities coming out. You are going to be working in your purpose, successful, and the people that are not meant to go with you will not be there yeah a lot of these people are going to be heavily burdened with your progress because they cannot come with you what else holy spirit I, i'm seeing entrepreneurship okay we have the hangman in the reverse okay uh no more stagnancy no more of this uh, two of pentacles imbalances in your connections, okay? You're going to be receiving reciprocity, and we saw that come out earlier. And things are moving ahead for you because you stayed strong and steadfast in this and stayed the course as we see here. What else, Holy Spirit? You're going to help a lot of people come out of this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You're going to help a lot of people come out of this seven of swords energy and start moving towards calmer waters just simply by being who you are. Yeah, a lot of these people that have been really hurt and wounded and affected by at their own uh, by their own hands and by their own uh, actions okay people that have this victim mentality people that feel like they've been abused and used the wounded warriors the victim mentality a lot of these people are going to see with page of pentacles you're going to bring in enlightenment okay and i want to say hope with the queen of wands is someone that's very ambitious hopeful driven with people watching you in action doing whatever this is you're doing people from your past they're going to look at this six of pentacles yeah giving and receiving reciprocity this is coming to you very soon okay we got five of wands in the reverse this is going to create a change this new beginning ace of wands that you're going on People are going to be watching you and they're going to really understand the power of God through you simply being yourself. This is really beautiful, okay? This is going to be awesome. People are going to see you in your element and start really wondering, wanting to know about God, about God what you learned how you learned it okay the excitement people are going to be very excited and passionate about starting this journey as well okay however <laughs> your guys are saying okay we want you to move forward you're going to keep moving forward with the chariot but you need to stay in this queen of swords energy and protect yourself be aware of the people around you okay lead by example but be very cautious about those around you because bottom of the deck the devil okay these people are still the devil is still busy okay you are protected and you are ending this cycle with these people they may come through with you know wanting to connect with you there yeah, this king of wands energy is here um wanting to connect with you romantically especially this person that feels like with the seven of pentacles they have invested a lot in your connection this person 
can't seem to get over you right now. They see you as the Queen of Pentacles and look behind that Knight of Cups. They want to come in and give you an offer. This person's having a lot of sleepless nights with the Nine of Swords here. What else, Holy Spirit? Whoa. <laughs> King of Wands again. Yeah, this person is fixated on you right now, I'm hearing. But yeah, continue to hold back from this person. But as also, yeah, speak up. You're going to have to look at this. No matter what I do, this person is here. So this person is Ace of Swords. This person is not going to go away. Okay, Page of Swords again. This person is watching. This person is going to try to connect with you. This person may send other people in to put a word in for them. Yeah, this person does not want to let you go. Yeah. Ten of Swords. This person feels like you're betraying them by moving on. Like, how dare you move on with your life without me, okay? Th they're saying that <laughs> that's not what they want. That's not what they want to happen, okay? So, we have the Fool, the Two of Swords, and the Three of Swords, okay? This person feels like you are blocking them off and it's breaking their heart with the Three of Swords. So they're going to take a leap of faith and try to come towards you to try to change your mind. They want you. I'm hearing, I want you. Okay? This person feels like you belong with them. And honestly, what I'm feeling in the energy is there's someone here that I'm feeling that still has very deep feelings for this person in your energy this person that says you're still in love with them you very well may be uh, because you're as I'm feeling an unhappy energy about you moving forward without this person there's someone here that feels that way um, so you're just being advised to really use discernment you don't want to fight with this person either and you are feeling deep regret about the way the relationship went is what I'm sensing but your guides are saying to stay focused, stand your ground, and this person is not, yeah, this person is not for you. This person was with a lot of other people. Yeah, this is, this person is not for you. But, you know, you have free will. Your guides are saying put an end to it. You have free will, um, and you are protected. But just know that when you step out of alignment with what God wants for you, yeah, they want you in this surrendering ener energy to the most high and your purpose. This person is not aligned with your purpose. So if you do decide to go back into a two of cups with this person uh, and not use your intuition, um, there is no guarantee that this person is not going to make you one of many again and create a lot of illusions and confusions for you, okay? King of Swords in reverse. This person's energy is very belligerent right now. Um, this person is not balanced. So they're advising you not to get in line with this person and face some of their karma. Um, if you're connected to them, when this karma hits them, it's going to hit you as well. That's what I just heard. So focus on your work, your purpose, what God wants you to do. Final messages, please, Holy Spirit. <laughs> okay. 34, 34, when I pull this out, that's significant for somebody. Somebody here is going to try to make it work i'm hearing this person bottom of the deck page of cups this person is coming in with an apology and whoever you are you're going to see this person in this queen of cups king of cups energy i'm seeing somebody missing cuddling up with this person okay 
I really feel this strongly for somebody. Somebody's not going to listen. Um, boy, oh boy. Okay. Um, just pray. I would say uh, really pray and connect with your spirit guides on this because right beneath this card, I think this person, you're comfortable. Like this person looks comfortable. You're comfortable with this person. They're going to come with this apology and tell you, I love you. I'm sorry. You know, I'm going to make things right. I'm going to do better. We belong together. You know, let's cuddle. <laughs> but this is what you're going to get. This King of Swords in reverse. This person is a tyrant. This person is very aggressive angry controlling overprotective i'm hearing the word ownership there should be nothing associated with ownership in a two of cups relationship you're not an object uh, i just feel like you're going to really really set yourself up for your own ten of swords again okay <sighs> holy spirit Listen, look at this. What just fell out the judgment card, the tower card, okay, the ace of cups, and the five of swords, okay. So, what this is saying, God is saying, listen, judgment is upon this person, this situation. I'm bringing in the tower. This is this person's karma, okay. I love you, dear one. I love you, my dear one. This is the most high talking to you, okay? But if you are there when this karma hits, it's going to hit you too. And you're going to be very hurt by it, very discontent. So really think about this. The leverage is on the bottom of the deck. Somebody don't care. <laughs> Make the right decision is what the Holy Spirit is saying, okay? Because you're setting yourself up for this Ten of Wands, these heavy burdens, okay? God is advising you to walk away, okay? You are the Empress, okay? This is not your person. You don't belong with the King of Swords in reverse, okay? All right, y'all. I'm going to leave it right there. I hope that this message has been helpful. I really pray that you take heed and listen to what your spirit guides and the Most High are advising you to do. Okay, really connect and pray. I'm seeing this. Yeah, this is this energy you're, you're picking up on. This is going to be this King of Wands, King of Swords in reverse type of energy. It's not going to be beneficial for you. I can feel it. But again, there you have your free will. So just know that when God decides to call that judgment in, if you are around it's going to hit you too just know that yeah this devil is not not to be played with okay i love you guys i'm gonna clear this energy before i let y'all go if you like the content here please like share comment and subscribe i would love to have you guys join the light work family and be sure that you're cleansing your energy, protecting your energy, and standing in your power. That's very important. Boundaries. Boundaries. Set those boundaries. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the messages. Thank you, Most High God, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. We love you and thank you. Please clear the energy. We return this energy to the divine to be transmuted into love, light, positivity. Any lingering negative energy, we return it to sender.
transmute this energy into love, light, positivity, please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Ashe, peace and blessings.